Hello, my name is Ajmal Mushtaq and today this is my first live that I've done for quite some time. Ask me anything about business. I have been involved in business my whole life. I worked for five years in my family business. I've worked for 10 years with Accenture. That's a global management consultancy down in London. And I've run my own business for 13 years. Got a fair bit of business experience. Any business questions, get them in the comments below. My team are behind the camera, they'll be asking me them. Why do you choose the same colors as, as other popular pizza places? I would imagine you're talking about Boss Pizza. Red is a very good food color. It's vibrant, it's appealing, and it's got a lot of connotations with food, warmth, heat, that type of thing. So that's the reason we chose red. There's only Pizza Hut that's red. Papa John's is green and Domino's is blue and red. So what advice would you give to advertise your small business after not being active for a few months? Great question. Any small business owner out there, you've got to spend as much time as you can promoting your business. I spend 50% of my time promoting my businesses, right? So number one, spend as much time as you can. Secondly, determine your budget for marketing, right? I use the formula 7% of total sales is spent on marketing. You decide how much do you want to spend? Is that 1%, 2%, 3%? Generally, anything under 5% is quite easy to absorb. Anything between 5 and 10% is quite substantial and you get a decent return on investment. We've got 30 different marketing channels that we use on a regular basis. If you've not been active for a few months, get back in the game. Great question, thank you very much. Do you have any ideas on how to get more confidence when it comes to business? You know, business, it can be quite intimidating. I remember when I was a youngster starting out in business, I went along to this business gateway type place and I just got heckled out of there. If you're fairly new to business, it can be quite intimidating because everyone's a guru and everyone seems to know more about you. But you just decide on what you're doing. Like, I don't, I don't know what your nature of your business is, but if you're really good at doing that, just start small, really focus, do that with confidence. Don't worry about what other people think, just do the very best of your ability. The more people you speak to, the more you're involved in business, the better your confidence will be. You say you don't invest into crypto, so what do you invest into? I do not invest in crypto. I do not invest in NFTs. I do not invest in Forex. I don't invest in stocks and shares. The only thing I invest in is my businesses or property. That's the only two things I invest in. And then thirdly, my money's in the bank account. My money is in my savings account. Because having money in a savings account actually gives you options to buy whatever you want, whenever you want. Every guru out there is saying at this moment, oh, don't have money in savings. Yeah, I know the interest rate is low, but I would rather have money in savings account rather than having it in a high risk investment. And the reason for that is simple. In 2000, I lost 130,000 pounds. All of the money I ever had, I lost it all on stock markets. And I see that same euphoria and hype around crypto and NFTs and people pumping thousands of pounds in and losing it all. So not for me, I don't do crypto, NFTs or anything like that. I work by myself in my business. Any tips on how to stay motivated? Oh, Great question, how do you stay motivated? It's actually quite hard. Entrepreneurship is lonely. It's a long, hard road, and along that road, you don't have too many friends. And a word of warning to everyone on this call, if you're starting out in business, one of the things you'll never factor in, the minute you start doing really well, you will get a lot of jealousy, and you'll get a lot of hate. And that's one of the things that I've had to learn the hard way, the painful way. How do you stay motivated? I think if you love what you do, I know that's a cliche, but if you love what you do, the journey is just so much easier. So for example, I left a job with Accenture, which is a global management consultancy, to run a food business. And that's because I'm passionate about food. I could cook food, talk about food, work with ingredients all day, every day, 24 seven, and it wouldn't feel like work. So one of the best ways to stay motivated is make sure you start a business in something that you are really passionate about. How do I start investing in property? How do you start investing in property? Well, that's really simple. You need to get enough money for a 25% deposit. So wherever you are in the country, look at the local market, save up a deposit that's worth 25%. Then you can get a buy to let mortgage. And the best thing, you can get a buy to let mortgage now 
that doesn't require proof of income. There are plenty of buy-to-let mortgage companies that require 25% deposit and no proof of income. So you don't actually need to be working. You could actually be unemployed, have 25% down, and you could actually get on the property ladder that way. Tips for an online meal prep business. They order food every like twice a week. Yeah. Thing, you know. This is really easy for me to answer, mate. You are as good as your food, so make sure, make sure your food is the very best it can be. Anything to do with a food business is determined by the quality of your product. Make sure the quality of your food is as good as can be. Make sure the price point is right. Make sure the packaging is on point. And make sure your logistics are on point. All of these things will help. Uh, you to sort of build the foundation block to build a successful online business. And then you need to do all the regular stuff like search engine optimization and social media marketing. But down at this level, make sure your product is the very best it can be, my friend. Life financial advice to do with for a 16 year old? Great question, mate. What I would say to you is don't let anyone treat you like a kid. I remember when I was a 16 year old, you just get treated like a stupid little kid. You know, no one gave you credibility. I had so many great ideas, but I just got dismissed as a kid. So what I would say to you is never let anyone dismiss your ideas. Uh, focus on saving, saving as much money as possible. Try not to get sucked into the Instagram flex because that's gonna suck up all your money and you're gonna be broke. Um, so make sure you're working hard uh, saving, saving hard and just constantly looking for opportunities and don't stress too much about finding the right thing to do because that will happen. And let me tell you and everyone else on this call, the number two person in Boss Pizza is my colleague Ross. He started off with me as a student when he was at, still at, at, at college. Um, and this is a great example of never under, underestimate a part-time job. He was a part-time uh, guy working for me in the kitchen, but he did such a good job that he is now the operations manager at Boss Pizza. He is the number two person on Boss Pizza and we work every day together. So five days a week we're working together. So that's my advice to you, my friend. I wish you all the best. Are the financial rewards really worth the big stresses of business? It doesn't sound it. Yes, yes they are. Nothing great in life comes easy. Like if you're Usain Bolt, if you want to stand in the podium with a gold medal around your neck, you're going to have to put in the effort. That's not going to come easy. It's the same in business. I drive a beautiful car, I drive a Bentley Mulsanne, live in a beautiful house. Um, I've got properties in London, Hamilton, commercial properties, residential properties. I've got a great lifestyle. I don't actually have to worry about money ever. So I'm in a very, very fortunate position financially, but that has come at a cost. Every single thing has a cost. And in business, it does cost um, a lot of sacrifice. A lot of blood, sweat and tears need to be sacrificed in order to achieve that. Great question.